Hey guys, welcome to the Cyberspace VR. Um, I wanted to start this video by talking about giving a little bit of a story. So, um, we have been, when I say we, I mean my Landon, my partner and I, um, we have been working with VR for a long time. We actually intended to uh, kind of start this business. We want to do a VR arcade, if you've seen those. We want to do all these things. And um, we got... Uh, obviously coronavirus hit and a lot of things changed so we couldn't really do that um, but we did like home parties before we were gonna do that so we, we have a lot of experience teaching people how to play VR the oculus quest 1 came around and it kind of changed the game in turn, terms of what to expect with VR right like a lot of people were playing it in their phones with the Samsung gear uh, or with Google Daydream or the cardboard even and those things were all fine but then the Oculus Quest 1 comes out people can play VR for a really low price $400 and then they release the Oculus Quest 2 and that changes the game again right it's even cheaper at $300 and it's better in every way right it's got higher resolution better battery life higher better processing better well arguably better controllers um, a whole slew of things but the real kicker is that they introduced the link cable okay so the link cable changes the way that you play virtual reality so <laughs> instead of being able to have this VR arcade Landon and I realized that with the oculus quest that really just wasn't gonna make sense because people could just save up a little bit more money and go buy their own but then um, this link cable came out and I really love this thing um, so just a little bit of background on our YouTube channel we've talked about the link cable a couple of times and a lot of people have posted in the comments saying you know asking questions like does it have a does it run off of HDMI or mini display port or um, can I plug it into my graphics card USB slot because some graphics card come <coughs> excuse me graphics cards come with that these days um, and so I just wanted to talk about this a little bit the US or the link cable for the oculus quest 2 and the Quest One um, is really simple. All it does is let you play PC-based VR games on the Oculus Quest Two. So, for those of you who are in this video because you're doing research, you're looking into the Quest Two. You have one, maybe, and you're like, "Man, I really want to play Skyrim VR or Half-Life Alex," and then you find out about the Link Cable. I'm talking to you right now. Um, the link cable connects your computer to your headset so that your computer can run the games and the headset lets you view those games. So it's using your computer's processing power. So the link cable only works if your computer is powerful enough to run it. Um, that means it's gonna you know, cost quite a bit of money. You're looking at at least $1,000 on your computer to, be, to run VR well, especially with the link cable. So this plugs into the back of your motherboard, right? This end right here, back of the motherboard. And this goes into your headset. So let me get back to why this changes the game a little bit, right? The Oculus Quest 2 was the best mobile VR experience out there. <clears throat> and some would say the best VR experience out there because you didn't have to be tethered. There's no cable. Um, it's pretty amazing. You can go lay in bed. You can go to your living room. You can go outside if you wanted. You're not supposed to go outside with it. But then this lets you use the power of your computer to run those games and be able to play all the games on Steam or whatever. So Quest standalone plays Beat Saber, all those simple games. This lets you play every game created for VR, basically, as long as you own it uh, if, and you have the computer. So basically, Oculus connects the computer, computer runs the games, sends the, the games through this USB-C cable 16 feet long to the headset. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Um, I hope that clears some things up. Again, it's just a USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-C. Um, on Amazon, there's other cables by Anchor or whatever that range anywhere between $20 and $40, $50, whereas this one is $80 straight from Oculus. And so you can go on Amazon and buy those cables. People have been saying they work fine. So go give that a try. Um, I can't imagine you'll have that much more of a difference uh, in play than, than with this one. We got this one because we didn't want to have problems and we wanted to review the one straight from Oculus to make sure that we were having the best experience possible and giving Oculus a fair shot. Um, but lots of people are saying the other ones work great. So, um, so who should buy a link cable? Someone with a computer or is willing to buy a computer that can run those games <clears throat> and wants to play games more than what's in the Oculus Quest 2 library. 
who shouldn't buy a link cable, someone who wants to play those games but isn't willing to fork out the cash for a computer that can run them or doesn't already have one. If you don't have those means, there's literally no reason to buy this other than a glorified long power charging cable, which I actually use it for on occasion when I'm playing a game in my Oculus Quest 2 and I need to charge, um, charge it while I'm playing it because it's dying or whatever. So actually, you know, maybe that's another category of people. If you are playing in your living room and you find your Oculus Quest dies a lot, I recommend going and buying a long USB-C cable, not the link cable, it's overpriced if you're just using it for a charger, but one with a right angle one like that, so that you can plug it in in the side of your Quest, and uh, you can usually strap it in somehow on here so that it doesn't uh, slide off or get ripped out while you're playing, because that's not what you want. If this port breaks, your headset's broken, you have to send it in for uh, to get fixed. There's no other way to charge it, right? So anyway, hopefully that clears some things up about the link cable. I know um, it's an awesome cable. I think it's awesome that Oculus is willing to let us do that to connect to our computer, buy games in other um, stores like the Steam store or whatever, and let us play those games, right? Skyrim VR, awesome. Half-Life Alex, awesome. All those things are only playable in the Quest 2 anyway with a link cable. And with that, uh, I just ask that you guys pay attention, keep keep track of what's going on. Best way to do that is to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you posted on any of, all, of the cool news that we think is not, uh, noteworthy. Drop us a like if this helped you understand what the link cable's for at all. And of course, comment if this didn't make sense. I can maybe explain some things in the comments. I try to answer any comments that make sense to me or if that are easy for me to answer. So um, who knows, maybe I'll be able to help you a lot. So. Best of luck. This is the Cyberspace VR. My name is Sean, and we'll see you next time.